Do you wanna create a free and quick animated YouTube intro? If so, inside this video, I'll show you how to download free YouTube intro templates with music and animations. So, are you ready? Hey Go-Getter, it's Salma Jafri. I'm the founder of YouTube Launchpad, the step-by-step -step course to take to start and grow your YouTube channel. I'll drop a link down to the course in the description. Be sure to go and check it out. On this channel, we talk all about how to grow your visibility, credibility, and profitability with YouTube. So be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon, and let's begin. Okay, so I'm gonna head on over to the computer for this tutorial and we're going to open up design software Canva. Canva is going to be the place where we're gonna download all of these free YouTube templates and I'm gonna show you where to get them. All right, here I am in my Canva account and on the home page there's a search bar. So here I'm going to actually search for YouTube intro. Okay, and then Canva has added all of these amazing new templates. So you can start from scratch with a blank YouTube intro template, but for the sake of this uh, video, let's actually start with one of their pre-made templates. Now I do have a paid Canva Pro account. So some of these templates are going to be paid, but there are tons that are actually free. So let's choose one template. Let's go with this one. And we want to pick a template and then we're going to get customizing. Okay, so let me just quickly play this template for you. You'll see it has animations and music and then we will customize it to our liking. All right, so right off the bat, I want you to see that this video is 6.9 seconds and I typically recommend YouTube intros to be between three to five seconds. So that's the first thing we're gonna do, cut out all that extra couple of seconds and make sure that it fits within five seconds. The next thing we're gonna do is customize the colors, the fonts and what we actually want to say. So let's pretend this is for my channel. So my tagline is grow your personal brand with video. So that's what I'm going to put in my YouTube intro, okay? Let's say grow your, and then we're going to actually fix the colors in here. Let's go with, so another thing I like about Canva is that all of your brand colors can be input here. So these are my 2021 brand colors and I can just customize my um, template according to those colors. And then we'll go ahead and add an effect here like so. And we're gonna go and change the background to another one of my brand colors, which is right here. Like that, change this back to, there we go. And let's make this a little bit bigger. And center align it. Okay, now you can see that these are the little uh, animated effects that Canva has, and there are so many of these, and I'm gonna show you how to customize some of these. So for the time being, I'm actually gonna remove this one from the first build. So these are the four slides or screens or builds, as you might wanna call it in animation. And so what I'm gonna go and do right now is I'm going to delete the last two. So I actually want just two builds here. So I just want it to start, and I'm gonna animate this, and then I want it to say, Grow your personal brand with video. Okay, so that's kinda, actually let's do this in two different type of effects. So let's do personal brand first. Um, and let's make this one of my other brand colors. Let's go with Hello, and the effect I want for this is slightly lifted off the screen and the background will be like so. So we have personal brand and then we need to add with video and that we're going to do with a different font. So I'm gonna go here to text. I'm gonna add a subheading that says with video. And let's go ahead and put this in one of my brand fonts. Like so, and let's make that bigger. Let's get rid of that animation. We wanna put our own animation in here. Um, yeah, that looks better. Make this a little bit bigger and we're going to also slightly tilt it like that. 
and position it where you want it to be. Let's add an effect in here. Um, okay, I like the glow effect, but the intensity is too much. So I'm going to reduce the intensity here. So it's just a little bit easier to read. And I think let's not make it white. Let's make it this mild shade of purple. Okay, so now we have our two builds, grow your, and again, the intensity on this, I just want to adjust a little bit, just a little bit lower. Okay, alrighty. So we have this build, and here you can see that now our time is down to 1.8 seconds, which is probably a little bit too fast. So I want to have about three to five seconds for my YouTube intro. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to animate this. I'm going to click on this animation button here, Rise. And you can see that some of these are like pro animation effects, but the other ones are free. So let's go with something that's free. Yep that one and I definitely want it to stay longer than two sec uh, one second so let's make this two seconds in terms of timing and you can also kind of use this drag thing <laughs> right for now I'm just going to write two here and done okay and that's how it's going to be okay and then for the second build I want the animation to be simpler so let's have it fade in except this time we want it to stay for about three seconds so people can read what's on the screen. Okay, so that's our basic build done. The next thing we're gonna do is add in some fun animated elements to our build. So we've got the text down and now I'm gonna go into elements here and there are lots and lots of fun things that you can do here. You can do arrows, you can do click, clicks, you can do um, so many different things. If I search over here, uh, there's stickers, lines, sparkle, rectangles, stars, like for example, just to show you if I were to do like a star animation, then I would click on this filter and say I want animated and let's say free, apply filter and it's going to show me all the free star animations, right? And all I have to do then is sort of just pick one and it'll add it to my little screen like so okay so let's uh, let's choose an animation that fits my brand so let's go with um, a play button right because it's a youtube uh, intro for a youtube uh, educators channel right so a play button and notice that the filters are already selected as animated and availability is free okay so this is already selected here and so these are some of the options, fast forward, shuffle, pause, and you can sort of just see all of them and you can also scroll down and see them all as well. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go into recently used ones to see the one that I liked and that I wanna use. And it was this one. So it's kind of like a dot dot animation of a play button. So like a fast forward play type animation. And I thought this was nice and subtle, but yet kind of on brand for me. So what I, do is I'm going to make this a bit larger and let's also right align it like so okay yeah I like that so grow your personal brand with video let's add in my name here So let's put that here as well. Make it just a little bit bigger so we can read it. And it's in my brand fonts. Like so. Okay, now we have a five second YouTube animated intro. So it's got the words, so it's got text, it's got background graphics, it's got animated elements happening on it and everything is coming together. Now the next thing we need to do is find some music because what's an animated YouTube intro without music, right? So we're gonna go into audio here 
And again, you'll notice there are free audios that you can use. You can use paid ones and you can also upload your own audio. Okay, so for example, what I would do is go again to the filters and then you just search by free in terms of availability. Okay, so we'll search by free, apply the filters and these are the results that come up. So here are the ones I recently used and then there's all these categories. So there's epic piano, happy, and you can click on see all to see more. Okay. So let's play one of these and see what it sounds like. So this is an instrumental. Let's play this. Okay. Kind of like it. It's simple and it has a nice little build up to it. So I'm just quick going to click on this and it's going to add that in. Okay. Now you see here up in the bar, Okay, so what I can now do is I can actually tell Canva what section of the audio to play with my YouTube intro, okay? So if I don't want the beginning portion, but let's say I want it to start from slightly louder portion, I can just click there. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Now let's see our entire build. So I'm going to play this and let's see how this looks. Okay, so it was a little choppy, but it's going to work when you download this and it's the final version of this. So the next thing we're gonna do is download this video by going to download and then in file type, we will choose MP4 high quality video. Okay, and pages, all both of the pages, and then I'm going to go ahead and download this. Okay, so while it's downloading, the next thing that I'm going to do after it's done is I'm going to actually just drop it into the timeline of my video editor, right? So I'll show you what that looks like in post-production. I'll drop it in and that's all you need to do. And if you wanna adjust the timing a little bit of your YouTube intro, you can do that. The way that we like to do our YouTube intros is sort of have a fade in and fade out. So it's not a very jarring, like break from our actual content, right? So that's kind of how I like to put in an animated YouTube intro. Now, let's suppose that you didn't want to use one of the pre-built templates and you wanted to start from scratch and build your own YouTube template. Let me just save this. Okay, and so if you wanted to do that, you'd simply go again to YouTube intro and you'd go here to where it says create a blank YouTube intro and you can start from scratch. You can add in whatever kinds of animation and effects and things that you want in. And my favorite feature is that you can upload your own pictures, videos, and audio. So for example, here I have some audio that I downloaded from Mixkit. I could upload this and make my own custom YouTube intro. I could upload something that I've bought from in Vado. I can upload, for example, let me actually show you for my um, background. I have my BTM background, right? So this is right here. So what I would do is put that in, set this image as a background, add some text. Uh, actually, let's use one of the, one of these texts here. This is just to show you how it would look. I'm not actually going to use this. <laughs> uh, let's make this, let's ungroup it so we can edit like so. And then I could add in whatever music and things I wanted to, I could add in all of these, um, animated effects and things that I wanted to on top of this. So like that and like that, and then animate this whole thing. Um, there's some photo animations, which are kind of cool. There's this zoom effect, which kind of zooms in the background. Um, so that's nice. Let's keep that. And then there's some other animations you can add here. Um, I'm not going to add too much right now because I just want to show you a quick feature called the upload media. So let's actually go here and you can upload from your device, from Facebook, from Google drive, from Instagram and from Dropbox. So I've actually uploaded this audio that I downloaded for free from Mixkit. So let me just put that in. And again, over here, you'll be able to choose what part of the audio you want to play. 
Let's actually start it from the beat. We want to start from there. Right, so, and let's adjust the timing of this. Uh, let's make it three seconds. So like a really simple, just showing your title or your tagline, this is how you would do it. Let's play this. Right, really, really simple and easy to use. All right, let's quickly do our viewer of the week before we go any further. And this week's viewer of the week is space for simple sounds. Thank you so much for sharing how your YouTube journey has been with my YouTube videos. I appreciate you. If you'd like to be featured as viewer of the week, make sure you leave a valuable comment on this video about how my content has helped your YouTube journey. And now back to our video. Okay, so let me know if this was helpful in creating your quick and free YouTube animated intro and go and watch this video next on my channel. I'll see you next time.